Good morning, it's Rich. Today's video is possibly just a uh, closer focus on what we focus on in life. See, Adam and Eve were in paradise, made in the image of God. And the serpent came into the garden, which God gave them the dominion over. They had control. They could have cast him out. They could have kicked him out. They could have kept him from coming in. But probably their curiosity got the best of them. Who knows? But what I want to focus on today is focus. You see, if they would have kept their focus on what God said, what he commanded them to do, the instructions he gave them, if they would have obeyed, and it still applies to all of us today. See, as Christians, we have a choice. We have free will. But what do we focus on? If somebody comes and does something that hurts us, hurts our feelings, or changes our life in any way, shape, or form, in a way that we don't want. Well, one, we don't know what tomorrow is, or if we even make it to tomorrow. Only God does. But if we focus on our circumstances, if we focus on our situation, if we focus on the people around us, what they're doing right or wrong according to us or our interpretation of what's in the Bible and where they're playing God or whatever we're doing, then we're going to be off, off course. We're going to make mistakes and we're going to continue to sin. Whether it's judging people, telling people how they should live their lives, and so forth. Like when we, we try to change people. Well, you're not doing what I want. Or you're not doing what I perceive is in the, is in the Bible. Because I, I choose this verse. And well, the other person chooses a different verse. And, well, who's right? Well, I'm going to get my way. So you're going to do things my way or we're not going to be around. I'm not going to be around you. Again, Focus. We're focusing on the wrong things, probably. God, what do you want us to do? Why are we in this boat in the midst of the storm? Can't we just step out of the boat like Peter? And as long as I keep my focus on you, I won't sink and be over, overtaken by the storms of life. Of which God is in control. God is sovereign. The very storm that he can speak to and calm and take away. He also can create. But again, what's our focus? See, God allows things to happen for a purpose. And the purpose is to reveal to us what God already knows about us. He knows what's in our hearts. But he does it to allow us to focus on those things and say, wow, why did I do that? Why did I react that way? Why am I so sensitive to being dishonored or not honored or disrespected. Why is it such a trigger for me? You see, there's so many different commandments. But if we get down to just the two, love God and then after that, love all mankind. The way God does. Not the way the world does. But what is your focus? Do you focus to please God or please yourself? Do you live to serve others or serve yourself? Is church a drive through Yes, I'd like this and this and this and this and this. Thank you. What do you mean it's not free? Doesn't God love me? God should give me it for free. Well, he does, but there are certain requirements. Repentance. Fruits of repentance. A changed heart. So today, what is your focus? Do you focus on what you don't have? Which is what the serpent wants you to focus on? Or do you focus on what God has already given you? privilege of life on earth.
the opportunity to be a servant, to be a helper, somebody used by God to help others. Hopefully not to enable them to live in a life that's going to continue to require a need for them to be helped continuously. The help they need most is a dependence on God. We are just resources. God is the provider. So I hope as you wander through this spaghetti message I'm making, which so many seem to be, life is about focus. You can focus on God, live to please Him, or you can focus on others around you and point your finger at them and blame them for the way you treat others. Well, they did this, they did that. How did you respond? Christ-like? Or was it all flesh? Lord, I pray today that you will change my focus. That you will make it clear. Remove any scales that are still in my eyes and any hardness that's still in my heart and any unforgiveness bring to the surface so it can be removed and replaced with a tender, loving, merciful heart. Amen.